What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix FPS drops and stutterings in or stutters, or frame drops, whatever in Dota 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It will really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be a big support for me guys and I would just really appreciate it. It's mean it's free for you and uh, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I would really be thankful for that. I'm gonna thank you for that and I'm gonna say let's get started. So in order to fix this issue, the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to use the shortcut in order to open up your task manager or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. Once you did that, I want you to go to the top left corner of your stream of your um, screen and ensure that you're sticking around processes. And as the next step, I want you to click on CPU. What I want you to do is gonna be to end every single process which is currently having too much CPU usage by right clicking it and clicking onto end task. Once you did that, I want you to do the same thing for GPU. Uh, so once you're finished here, you should be able to close the task manager. As the next step, I want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. So once this tab pops up, I want you to navigate right onto gaming and ensure that you're sticking around Xbox Game Bar. As the first step, I want you to obviously turn the Xbox Game Bar off because the Xbox Game Bar doesn't really come with any benefits besides impacting your performance on low-end or bad PCs. And uh, we want to reduce that in order to get uh, more consistent FPS by just um, turning the Xbox Game Bar off. As the next step, we're gonna click onto Captures and go to Background Recording and record in the background while I'm playing a game and turn this off. Especially if you're not knowing that, that this is turned on, you should uh, have massive FPS drops in game, especially on bad PCs, because everyone knows if you're recording something, this will impact your FPS really badly, and uh, you don't want Windows to record in the background all the time. And guys, if you want to record something, you're not going to use Windows for that, so either way, just turn record in the background while I'm playing a game off, and come back once in a while just to check if this is really turned off. So next step, I want you to click on the game mode and I can't really tell you now to turn it off or on. I just need to tell you that you need to check it for your system specifically. So turn it off and look what your frame drops are doing and turn it off and look what your frame drops are doing. If they're getting better, use on or use off. Uh, next step is going to be to go back to your main uh, settings and click right into update and security. We want you to stick around Windows Update. And I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but I want you to update every single driver which you could possibly update. And we wanna start with Windows because if you're uh, outdated, you uh, this could be a reason for your frame drops. And when you uh, basically download the latest version, you're ensuring that you're providing the best possible performance for your PC. Once you finish here, I want you to close this one down and do the same thing for your graphics card. So if you have an NVIDIA or AMD, it doesn't really matter. Just go to your application or the, or the browser and download the latest version of that just to ensure that you're providing the best possible performance in general for your PC. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. I'm, sure, I'm sorry, guys, if I couldn't help you out, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. And either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.